Hello again, YouTube! TrackBoy8420 coming to you very bored! I am very bored. Um, I'm gonna make a video talking a little bit about Lego Matic Man. He's really cool. Gives some great ideas with his videos. Gives good reviews. He seems like a nice guy. Um, I just chose to say something now because recently he responded to a vi uh, my video on this saying some nice things, and I just I think he deserves a little shout out here. So I gave it to him. Hope he likes it. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick advice video on if you want to start a Lego engine. A neat thing to, a neat thing to do is look at what I'm doing, I guess. Um, because this was a very easy engine to build. It took some time because I was always adding to it. But Alright, I guess I'm going to start out with... You need to have a good idea of what to do in your mind and then kind of work off of that. That's pretty much common knowledge advice there. Have a nice... well... I'll get to the flywheel later. If you're going to run it on a crank, such as what I'm doing, to get decent RPMs out of it, you're going to want to have a, crank, uh, a large gear running on a small gear. That's also common sense there, typically. So what you're going to want to do is start with a gear, oh, I don't know, this size. I don't know if there's a name for this. I call it the four-hold gear. <laughs> so if you're going to want to start out with a crank, this is a good gear to start with. Start running that off of the smallest gear that you can get on. And that's going to be about that size, as depicted right here. Zoom in. Um, so yeah, if you're going to use a crank, just use gears like that. Probably one of the best things I could do. Runs great. And if you want to build something like mine, the simple way to do it is simply to have two crankshafts. No, not two crankshafts. One crankshaft, two cylinders going up into the body of the engine and then have a shaft here running from the uh, crank all the way to the front of the engine that runs the flywheel and the crankshaft all in one uh, that's the best thing I've come up with yet um, now that I mentioned the flywheel, with well, the flywheel you want to have something as balanced as possible if you're going to make a tiny engine, I mean small engine that's using um, small four blocks I guess you would use you're probably going to want to use something like this, it's very well balanced it's really nice to have but if you don't have one of those handy and all you have are technic pieces such as these, what's good to do is make um, something like this, but then reverse the design such as the uh, first... Um, oh wow, I'm drawing a blank, isn't this great? The first rod here on top and then the second one on bottom, but then on the opposite side do this first block on the bottom and then the second one on top, and then you've got a nice decently uh, balanced flywheel. Really nice. Um, uh, of all the engines I've seen, people have typically used um, double thick, I call them, double thick Legos. I've only used the single thick Legos here. They work just as nice and, I don't know, they make a great engine to me. Um, so if you like this engine and you want to make something similar to this, this is what you're going to work off of, I guess. Um, very simple design. If you have any more questions about it, please comment or add a personal message. Anything you want to do to get uh, more answers, I'm glad to answer them. To get to have some questions, because I'm glad to answer them. Because um, I'm very bored lately. I've got three more days of this. Rain and nothing to do, so... Best get to me now, because I have uh, plenty of time to answer. Because this is Tractable 8420's LEGO Engine. Yeah. Huh. So yeah. Alright, um, I guess that's all I've got to say for my engine. Maybe I'll run it once for you. You probably like that. Um, I don't really have anywhere to put the camera to run it, but maybe something like that. I don't know. Let's try that. So yeah, like I said, runs pretty good. Quick speed. Oh, one more thing. You might want to use some kind of lube. Um, I've been told that WD-40 destroys Legos, so if I ever comment on a video saying use WD-40, don't do it. I haven't seen anything happen with the Legos yet, destruction-wise, but if you don't want to take a risk, don't use WD-40. Use a, uh, I think it was a silicon-based lube if you're going to use one. 
makes things run a lot smoother. And uh, right now we're running on five minutes. It's going to take forever to load this on YouTube, so I think that's all I'm going to say now. Enjoy my videos. I'm going to sign out now. See you later, guys. And uh, build your engines. Have fun and watch Lego Manic Man. He's awesome. <laughs> all right. See you guys.